Ghana is one of the most beautiful countries in Africa. It is one of the most dynamic countries on earth as well. The motherland and the gateway to Africa, as it's affectionately called by many explorers, is one of the most beautiful countries in the world and home to over 70 ethnic groups, over 50 languages, with a population of over 31 inhabitants. Here are 7 most beautiful cities in Ghana presented in no particular order before we begin i would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel let's get right into it at number one koforidia koforidia popularly known as kof town is a city and capital of the eastern region of ghana just 77 kilometers from the kotoka international airport looking at infrastructure Koforidia has a blend of colonial and present-day architecture and peculiar designs. Koforidia is regarded as the home of beautiful ladies and you often hear Koforidia flowers not in relation to the landscape or scenery but for the beautiful ladies residing in this pretty city. The city can boast of predominant tourist attractions including several waterfalls, resorts and natural features such as Obuatabri Mountain which is considered sacred and other amazing sites with incredible sceneries as well. The city of Koforidia became one of the country's cocoa producing and order centers in Ghana in 1924 and has since been an invaluable city with so much to offer and the experience exploring this city is incredibly worthwhile. At number 2, Kumasi. Kumasi is the second biggest city in Ghana and the capital of the Ashanti region. The city is located in a rainforest region near Lake Busumke and is the commercial, industrial and cultural capital of the historical Ashanti Empire. It is alternatively known as the Garden City because of its many species of flowers and plants. The city of Kumasi holds incredible historical and cultural significance to the Ashanti people and Ghana at large. As legend claims that it was in Kumasi Okonfuanoche, the then priest of the Ashantis, received the golden stool, an embodiment of the soul of the Ashanti nation. And prior to British rule, Kumasi was the capital of one of the greatest civilizations of Africa. The city holds many massive sites in Ghana, such as Kumasi Fort, one of the few military museums in the whole of Africa, and other tourist attractions as well. Kumasi is known to be one of the most welcoming and peaceful places in Ghana, and its relaxing appeal is one to behold. At number 3, Sekendi Takrade. This is a twin city in Ghana, located in the western region. The city consists of Takrade and Sekendi, which most people tend to miss, adding up to the specialty of the city as it emanates with diversity and amazing contrast that come together to form the beautiful city of Sekendi Takrade. The city is the region's largest city and an industrial and commercial center. Its location makes it perfect for relaxation and comfort as it crawls with numerous tourist attractions. It has plenty of beach fronts, with most found to the west of Takradi. The city of Sekendi Takradi also has an annual street carnival, which is popular with tourists. There is also the village of Inzulezu, which is a whole village on water, which is a popular tourist attraction and a site for sore eyes. This city is one to visit as almost every inch of it is fitted for the most relaxing and calm experience one could have in Ghana. At number 4, Accra. Accra is the capital and largest city of Ghana in the greater Accra region. It is the most prestigious and well-established city in the whole of Ghana. As well as the most developed, the city holds the country's only functioning international airport as at now, though others are undergoing construction, making it a hub trapping visitors and tourists alike who get mesmerized by all the wonderful things this city has to offer, and more times than not, never get to leave the dazzling city to explore other territories. Accra is a lovely city with luxurious locations and comfort, deep-rooted traditional locations, making the city so wholesome, one might never run out of things to do in Accra. The population of Accra is one of the youngest in the world, with 56% of the entire population under 25, and the trend towards a young population shows no sign of stopping. This city's growth is fueled by high immigration. The population continues to swell, largely due to the influx of people from all over Africa, the Americas, Europe and Asia. Over 35% of the population of Accra is due to new immigrants moving into the city. There are so many tourist sites in Accra, including castles and resorts, a truly wholesome city to reside in. 
at number five cape coast cape coast is a city located in ghana's central region and the region's immediate capital it is an important focal point of pan-african history since it's the city the first western invaders established their base Cape Coast is the hub for many Western visitors, with the first Pan-African city scheduled to be built around its environs, primarily due to its significance to the African ancestry. With notable personalities such as the former United States First Lady Michelle Obama considering Cape Coast as her ancestral home. From local and tribal festivals to larger and more modern ones, Cape Coast is a culturally rich and historical location. Included is the Biennial Panafest, a theater festival established in the 1980s to contemplate the effects of the foregone slave trade. Cape Coast is home to many tourist attractions such as castles, forts, resorts and what have you. The most prominent of which is the Cape Coast Castle, an instrumental part of unpleasant African history and a base for self-reflection. Cape Coast is a must-visit city that explorers and visitors can't have enough of. At number 6, Tamale. Tamale is the third largest city in Ghana and the capital city of the northern region. It is deemed by some as the fastest growing city in West Africa. Tamale is a city in which there is a perfect architectural blend of modern buildings and traditional slums and it's inhabited by people that are very hospitable and warm with great respect for the traditional political system that they have in place. It is said to be the most fertile place in the whole of Ghana. As such, it acts as a food basket, providing yams, meat and cereals in plenty for the whole of the nation. It is a mostly Muslim city, home to members of the Dagomba tribe. Its Islamic influence can be seen in the city's numerous mosques. In Tamale, the feeling and experience is different to all parts of Ghana, as one can experience the traditional and laid-back cultural feel of the people, which has been unchanged throughout the years. Visiting places like the central mosque, the shops and even the tannery brings a feel of humility as the people interact with respect and oneness. In and around Tamale are tourist sites and a national animal enclave, the Moli National Park, that one can explore. At number 7, Sunyane. Sunyane is the capital of the Bunu region, located in the mid southwestern part of Ghana, surrounded by forested upland. The city has been voted numerous times as the cleanest city and settlement in Ghana. Sunyane rose as an outpost camp for elephant hunters during the 19th century, but following the construction of a road connecting Sunyane and the city of Kumase, it has become an important hub for the distribution of cocoa, kola nuts and staple foods such as maize and yam. The city has a chill feel to it as the inhabitants are very well managed and have an all-round respectable approach to all activities. It is a clean and well-maintained city with a thriving economy as at that. A visit to Sunyane is worthwhile as one gets to see a different side and feel to Ghana. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these. Also, check out this video next on amazing places and structures in Ghana that are just mind-blowing. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.